Thanks to all of you for attending what is our third Directors in Media event. It's actually the second in a series of three M&A sessions and this particular session is covering the sale process. If you're thinking about going to market, you'll get in touch with your M&A advisors 12 to 18 months before going to, to actually entering the process. The information memorandum is possibly the most important document you will ever have written about your business. It's crucial that it not only puts you in the best light, but is a really compelling read as a proposition. There's real value in having good advisors who can steer you, um, not just on the content, but on the tone of, of what you're presenting. How are you making money here? How are you different from what everybody else is doing? You have to be thinking, today I want to sell my business in two or three years' time. I've got to get it into the right shape. In the negotiation stage, you ideally want to be able to consider all offers and you want to control the process. But your advisor's role is then to maximise the structure and the price to your best advantage. Get an understanding of the chemistry. Ultimately, you're going to decide who you will go with based on that chemistry. It's very, very important to get the broader culture of the acquiring organisation and not just the guy you're negotiating with. This process is really about building trust. You've got to be prepared and want to have direct contact with the acquirer because if you always hide behind your advisors then there's never an opportunity to really build that direct understanding. We just bought a small UK agency um, just after I joined actually and we did that all in-house. If you are a vendor your power, if you want to use that phrase, or your influence does increase proportionately the longer the process goes on. By the time it comes to completion, hopefully everybody's uh, in the same place in terms of understanding how the deal will look and drafting the sale and purchase agreement is a formality. What sort of issues, red flags, problems might come up at this phase in the process that's, that are going to really scupper the deal? A lot of entrepreneurial, founder-led businesses are very reliant on one person and if there's any kind of question mark about the future of that person with the business then then that can be a deal breaker. But generally speaking, no surprises, take it to the top, be very open, don't sit on problems, I think be very direct about it. I'd say that we definitely hope that more than 50% of deals that get to the DD would complete. Actually it's quite rare to start a business, grow a business, run a business, sell a business profitably. Very few companies get to that stage and you learn about that in the fullness of time. We'll have to close it there. Thanks very much to all of the panel for uh, the very valuable insights that we've had today. Look forward to seeing you at the next event. Thank you. I found out about um, Directors of Media um, actually through LinkedIn um, when people were, were contacting me there and, and looking for a network. Um, that I could use within the, the marketing industry. The event as a whole was perfectly pitched. The slides were, were almost perfect. They covered absolutely everything I, I would have wanted to, uh, to see uh, covered. The networking was good and I'm looking forward to the next one as well because it's a, it's a very interesting series. Thank you for attending the Directors in Media and Talent Arc M&A Breakfast. The final session will be about making it work post-investment or acquisition. We look forward to seeing you there. More information can be found at talentarc.com.